Welcome back to our Neo 2 100% walkthrough. On this episode, we'll be doing the main mission called Pervading Waters. We've got nine Kadama to collect. We've got one hot spring location to get. And we've also got a mission based achievement. My name is Azavar or Azza. Now let's jump into the video. So I'll just show you the gear that we are rocking. First of all, we have a level 70 Kusuragami, level 59 bow, 59 rifle. And for the armor, we have level 68. 67, 66, 65, and 67. That's all purple rarity. And for accessories, we have this bad boy here. This is mainly for the Kadama sensor, although it's got untouched ammo and untouched ninjutsu on it. And this one is mainly for the treasure sensor. Uh, feel free to use whichever accessories you want to. I'll be pointing out the Kadama and the treasure either way, so you might not need those yourself. Uh, also, if we take a look at skills on Myo Magic, we have also bagged this bad boy down here, which is Barrier Talisman. Uh, we've got this to rank three. So essentially how that works is if we pop it on and then sprint. Uh, that recovers our key gauge very, very fast. So if we stop sprinting, key gauge goes up uh, very, very quick. There we go. So that is that. Uh, other than that, we can get cracking with the mission itself. I'd recommend crafting some armor and some weapons if you have lower level weapons and lower level armor. Uh, this mission can be quite spicy. It does also have two bosses, and both of the bosses are quite uh, quite uh, spicy meatballs. So it is worth popping to the blacksmith uh, before jumping into this mission and... Uh, and cracking on with it so uh, let's pop these enemies in the head there is also another one that's just hiding over there so just watch out for that bad boy and pop him in the face as well uh, we can grab a shortcut over here I can pop this guy in the teeth if he I'm just going for the melee I think that'll do uh, there is like a, a mini shortcut here you can just pop this door open Let's go back to the shrine. Uh, other than that, let's crack on. Uh, so for the mission-based achievement on this, it's the actual the last boss of the stage. Um, I was going to say the boss of the stage, but there's there's two bosses. It's the, the last boss of the stage for the mission-based achievement. So don't uh, worry too much about the mission-based achievement right now. This guy is being a spicy meatball. We'll come back to him. I think we're... Used enough rifle ammo on him. I'll wait for him to stop moving. There we go. One down there as well. There's quite a few enemies here. You can just pop them all off uh, with the headshots. There we go. It's probably better to, to wait for them to stop moving so you've got a better chance of actually uh, popping the headshot. But either way, clear that out. And then we've got a fake wall in here. i just randomly pick one of these. Emotes. Apparently blue is good, so sounds good to me. Uh, we'll take it. Then we'll head on out the back here and up the ladders. We'll pop a few more head up, uh, headshots up here, so a few enemies will be waiting for us. So you can just um, pop them in the head. There's one there. Be careful of falling through here. I think there's a bit that falls through somewhere on this roof, so watch out for that uh, fall through section uh, there is an enemy up there you can pop him in the head and any more enemies that you might find you can also pop them in the head as well uh, some over there one that's crouching down moved his head and avoided the shot uh, this enemy down here is quite spicy it's uh, a ninja enemy they uh, kick butt but uh, you can make life a lot easier just by headshotting them here. So I've just got the rifle with the explosive rounds. I just pop them a few times with that. Uh, to finish the fight. Hopefully they don't block. There we go. Uh, but yeah, they can be quite spicy. So just a couple of explosive rounds to finish them off. Uh, and then what we'll do is there's a drop down section here. So you have to drop into this building to get this item. I don't think the item is too crazy to be fair. It's just a... Uh, standard item but uh, that's how you get it if you do want it you have to drop inside that building uh, we can open these double doors but we're not going to go that way just yet because we've got some stuff to collect uh, first 
So we're going to backtrack a little bit. Watch out for the enemies that will be kind of waiting for you. They're kind of looking the wrong way. So we are approaching them from behind at this point. There's another one in here somewhere, I think. It's behind these uh, boxes. Pop him in the head. Uh, that's that. We've got some treasure here. I think there's a little bit more treasure that we can bag. Which is this building here that I was talking about. You can fall through the roof into the building. Um, so you can either fall through the roof or I think you can go around at the back here. Just watch out for the enemies. He's just over there. Just pop him in the teeth. A few more waiting for us. Just pop those in the teeth. One there. This guy here as well. Just be careful not to fall in the water. We'll just grab all the loot from this area before moving forward. I think that's everything. And like I say, just be careful of dropping into the water there because that will not be good. And then we'll push through this building. We can open this door from this side. There you go. Grab all the stuff. And we can push on forward back to those double doors that we opened. Yep. Yeah. And then we'll grab a rest at the shrine. And top up on our stuff. Uh, we can pop a level up, it seems. So let's just... Uh, just going to be focusing on magic for a little while. We're working towards some talismans. Specifically for the human boss. Uh, so there's a human boss and a yokai boss. A uh, human boss is first and yokai boss is second. So for the uh, human boss, we have to kind of like change our strats quite a bit. Because our normal strats don't really work against this human boss. Uh, either way, let's uh, once we're done at the shrine. Just going to head on over this way. We've got an enemy that's waiting for us there. You can pop it in the head. Lock on, sloth, talisman. Back up, pop a couple of feathers to finish the job. That'll do. We can head forward. We have a Kadama that's just tucked away inside that building. So let's grab that. That's the first one, I believe, of the stage. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, there is nine. So it's, it's quite a beasty stage. Quite a lot of... Uh, stuff happening on this one okay so we've got a dark realm coming up i think you can get a headshot up here if you lucky although this uh, yokai is blocking our camera which is not helping that was intended to be a headshot but uh you got this thing i'll i'll take it so we go for slow talisman purification try and get purification on it is indeed on. Back up. A couple of feathers. That'll do. There we go. Now we've got one of these bad boys here. So let's watch out for him. And uh, they drop the paralyzing stuff if you knock them over in the dark realm. Uh, I believe if you also smash this lantern thing, it kind of like uh, takes away all the enemy's key. Uh, from around this area. So you could potentially focus on the lantern thing first. If you want to deplete all their key. Uh, a couple of enemies that will be waiting for us. Going to opt for uh, ranged I think for this one. Go for the kunai option. Skill point there in ninjutsu. Uh, so that is that. We'll just do some looting and shooting in this area before moving forward. Enemy waiting down there. Going to apply some talismans first. Not sure if, if we can lock on. Ideally, I'll try and lock on first and then slow talisman. There you go for shuriken there, I think. Just deleted most of the health. Who knows to finish things off? And we'll just do some more looting and shooting, pick up the items and all that stuff. Uh, there is a Kadama close, but I think that's above us, if memory serves. So we'll head on up. 
And to follow this round, Kadama is behind these crates. So sh uh, smash through and then grab the Kadama. Uh, head on inside. There should be some enemies waiting for us. So just be careful in here. Pop this one. Try and get slow on these ones. We've got purification on, so uh, other than that, if we pop some feathers, it should just uh, delete them. So there we go. Uh, slow talismans are very good against those enemies because uh, they are quite fast. And uh, yeah, popping the slow will always come in useful against those. There we go. Uh, we can potentially smash these, pick up some bits and bobs. Might be some uh, cash and uh, an ammo, stuff like that. Head out here. I think we can kick these ladders down. That's a shortcut that kind of leads back to one of the shrines. We'll hang fire on that because it's an item that's just tucked away over there. So what we'll do is head on round. A couple of enemies will be over there that you can just headshot. There's one there, one there. Then you can drop down. I don't think this item is too crazy, to be honest, but you might as well grab it if you want to. Drop down. Uh, we've got a cheeky scampus. I was hoping that would get him in the eye, but doesn't seem to want to play ball. Oh, there we go. Uh, so you can follow this back around and replenish your stuff. Uh, the shrine if it's looking a little bit low we should be fine without resting for now so what we'll do is grab the scampus always got to pet the scampus and then head up these ladders follow this back around again uh, to this section here so if you do need to uh, go and rest at the shrine and stuff you just find it you just go over there follow that walkway over there and you'll see the shrine over that way. Uh, other than that, we can push on forward. Just watch your step on this bit because it's quite easy to fall to your death. That's not ideal. Uh, enemy waiting there, you can just pop him in the teeth. Um, ideally, we'll take out the enemies from up above here. You can jump down and just uh, you know go to town on them if you want to. Uh, but ideally, if you can take them out from up above, that's usually the best bet here. Sometimes that's easier said than done because you kind of like hide behind camera angles and rooftops and stuff like that. So uh, perhaps we can lock on and then just give some feathers. I should do. That'll do the job. Uh, so that should be clear at that point. We do have a Kadama. So drop on down. Grab this Kadama. Just against the corner there. So once we've got that. We should be good to go. I don't think you can go through there. You can't. Uh, just watch your step in this area. Because it's quite easy to fall uh, down. And that is bad. So that is that bit. Then we follow this walkway across this midsection here. An enemy waiting for us in here. So we'll top up, ready for the enemy. Use an elixir. We'll aim for a slow. We're going to scream. We're going to pop purif uh, purification on, first of all, back up. And then just go for the feathers. I've done. Uh, two feathers. Uh, once purification is on, we'll finish them off. Uh, you might be able to smash these and get some like random ammo and some random cash and stuff, so it might be worth popping through there. Uh, popping through those. And then through the double doors. Just going to follow this round down the slope. There is a Kadama hiding behind here, so you can drop off this building top. And um, Kadama just around the corner. So make sure to grab that. And then we'll open these double doors, which is a shortcut back to the shrine. Uh, we probably should rest at the shrine as well because our stuff is looking quite low. So 
it's probably a good time to just go top up. We can level up and we can also spend quite a few skill points and stuff, so we probably should look at that. Uh, once again, just going to pile points into magic. With the magic, I'm pretty much aiming for roughly around level 30, uh, 30 points in magic, maybe 35. Uh, something like that. The talismans just help with the human boss fight that's coming up soon. Uh, so that's why we're kind of getting those talismans ready for that and stuff. Uh, with the skills, let's take a look. We've got five points in ninjutsu. Uh, to be fair, with ninjutsu, I pretty much have most things that I want, really, for this build. Um, not really too much more that I want to bag with this ninjutsu skill tree. So, probably going to pop a few points down here. This one increases our run speed, so we've got um, uh, Tiger Running Scrolls. I don't really tend to use those too much, uh, but they are cool to use. Um, reduces key consumed by dashing. We've also got increases running speed by 3%. So we'll grab those. Uh, that should be fine for now. I don't really want to spend too, uh, too many more points on those. Surigami. We'll go for Relentless 2. Increases maximum key. So we'll bag that. Samurai, let's take a look. Uh, once again, there's not really too much more that I really want with Samurai. We can get this one. Ranged weapon attack plus three. And again, and again. So increased range weapon attack. Uh, other than that, we should be good. Just going to check titles whilst we are here. Uh, Yokai ability damage. That'll do. And then we'll push on forward. I'll go into a little bit more detail about the skills and stuff that we're using uh, for the bosses when we actually get to the boss itself. Well, there's two bosses, so we're going to change what we do a little bit for each boss, but I'll cover that when we actually get to it. Uh, so we're just going to apply some bits and bobs. Sloth Talisman. He's got no key, so feathers would be really useful right now. Although he's just he's literally just replenished it as I just said that. There we go. Uh, Sloth Talisman is very, very good against that bad boy there, so. Uh, we can speak to this guy, but I don't really think anything actually happens as such. But he's also stood on a red grave, so perhaps we'll just leave him to. There we go. Uh, yeah, I don't think he really. Gives you any bits and bobs, so we can just leave him to whatever he's doing. Uh, a couple of enemies will be hiding behind these crates and stuff. You might be able to headshot them, potentially, uh, if you can find the sweet spot. But I'm just going to shoot and then see what happens. The one there. I think there's one over there as well, uh, lying on the floor. Uh, once again, you might be able to headshot. I'm not sure if you can find the sweet spot, but uh, you know, feel free to go for it if you can do. Just take him out. Uh, so that is that. Smash these. You might get some ammo and some cash. Always worth uh, smashing those. And other than that, that's that bit. We can push on forward, which I think is this way. Uh, around here, around here. Some enemies will be waiting for you up ahead so you can whip out the old bow and arrow. And just pop them in the teeth. There we go. Uh, and grab that. I almost just dodged forward into the water there. Grab all the loot. Grab the loot once again. A couple of enemies will be knocking about over here. I think you can pop this guy in the teeth. There we go. And there is a Kadama uh, that's just tucked away over here. So if you just go around these boats one just just hiding behind those crates so we'll pop that bad boy um there are some things you can grab down here as well don't think it's anything too crazy but you can follow this around and i think there's one of those elemental things that's waiting for you so just have your feathers at the ready so i'm going to bait him out and then sort of dodge backwards feathers two feathers that'll do Grab that stuff. Noble Dung Ball. So if you're looking for that Dung Ball achievement, 
on uh, that previous mission, then no ball, dung ball there to help your cause. Uh, okay, so we've got an enemy that will pop across to us over that bridge. We've got a shortcut that we can also activate, which is just through here. You can open that door and that'll lead us back to the shrine. I think what we'll do is head this way. Off on some buffs. Ideally, you want to slow this guy because once again, he's quite fast and obviously making him slow is, is good. I'm going to lure him this way. There's quite a few enemies down there, so I'm just going to play it safe and uh, lure him across. There we go. He's gone, uh, he's gone crazy, so I'll just give him a sec. There we go. Take him out. So what we'll do is just clear this area first. Then we'll rest at a shrine and push forward. Uh, we have a Kadama that's just hidden behind this tree. So make sure to grab this Kadama. Over on that section there. We've got some more elemental enemies. So once again, you can lock on. Just pop your feathers to give them a quick tickle. There's one that jumps out as well. So just give him a quick tickle as well. There we go. You want to be going for like fire or thunder on those ones, not water. I don't think water uh, actually affects those ones, so uh, you don't want to use water. Be careful around here because there's a bunch of enemies that will be waiting. Speak of the devil. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of enemies that will kind of just be loitering around, waiting to kind of like pounce on you and stuff here, so just... Um, be very, very careful in this area. This one is a Mimic. Three gold bands on the chest. Give it a cheeky whistle. And let's see what they do. Uh, backflip. There we go. Mimic the Mimic. Grab that uh, Soul Core. So that's that uh, building. And then I think there's a few more bits and bobs knocking about. Once again, just watch your step because there's uh, very easy to fall into the water here, and that is not good. The enemy will pop to life just there. Then we can grab this item. Just be careful not to run into the water. There we go. Uh, Sudama. So we'll pop an item down, see what they give us in exchange. By a soul core. Uh, might be able to try popping a lower level weapon, see what they give us in exchange. We've got a level 17 bow, so perhaps we'll pop that and see if they give us a bow in return, perhaps, or uh, Master's Fists. I wonder what level that is, actually. I think it will be. Most likely our level, I think. Uh, we'll leave that for now. But yeah, we'll just drop the... I don't use fist weapons, so I'm not going to... Uh, check it out in detail, but... Yeah, you can drop them a weapon, and they'll give you a weapon in return. Uh, I think it also applies with armor as well, so you can drop them armor, and they give you armor in return as well. Uh, other than that, we'll jump up these ladders and keep on pushing forward so we can jump up onto this roof. And then there is an enemy that's just down here, so you can pop this one in the face and uh, get this item. Inspiriting gem there. And we can follow this round, drop off the ledge. Uh, there is kind of like a pretty tricky human enemy just on this bridge. It's not technically a boss, but I think what we'll do is head back through this shortcut over to the shrine because it's not really too far of a uh, a jog to get back so we'll just pop the shrine there we go and then we'll that'll kind of like prepare us for this uh, guy on this bridge so we'll go this way we've now got the shortcut through this building so through there and then take out this enemy once again
That'll do the job. Uh, it's this guy here, and he's got a spear. And he comes at you quite fast with that bad boy. Uh, we've also got two enemies that are kind of like waiting up on the sides. Uh, I'm not sure if you can headshot them. You can, although it's not killed them. Although I think that guy just fell into the water as far as I can see. You might be able to get these before aggro in the guy in the middle of the bridge. Uh, it can be a little bit spicy, so that's why we um, went back to the shrine first of all to put on our buffs on and stuff. Can uh, slow talisman him. We'll pop a couple of feathers. Uh, the feathers are mainly just to get the debuffs on him. Try and get like confusion status and stuff like that. You can just pop uh, the kunai and the shuriken. It'll make um, short work of the fight really. So that's the reason it's, it's it's probably best to go back and like top up on all your stuff at the shrine first. Because uh, if, if you have to fight him like melee style, it takes a lot longer. Uh, so it's worth popping back to get all your stuff topped up. Uh, so other than that, just grab the loot of the uh, the ranged guys that were there and pop through these double doors. There's a shrine on the other side. A few things you can do in here. could pop this well. Well, well, well. Sacred arrow. Uh, you don't grab it just yet, but there is a scampus here. We'll save this bad boy for the actual human boss. Uh, which is not too far from now. Uh, so that's that. And then later on we'll be going through those doors there. That's where the Yokai boss is. And that's where you get the mission based achievement. Okay. So far so good. Uh, we'll keep pushing forward. Got this section to do in here. So quite a few Yokai in this bit. So we'll aggro this one just here. I'm gonna try and get a sloth husband on first. And then I think they're weak to water, so if you can get any water feathers on them, um, it does quite a lot of damage to them. That's that. Our magic's looking a little bit low, so I'm gonna pop on the magic uh, regen talisman. Uh, once again, gonna start off with slow. And then go for Shuriken. Just finish him off with Kunai. Uh, Kunai does a massive amount of damage to those, so... Just pop those. Uh, we've got a treasure chest over here. So we'll grab that bad boy. And then push on forward. We've got some more enemies that will pop up. Uh, one of these lantern things here, so just smash that. That'll do. Uh, pop on the buffs. And we will spawn just here. So I'm going to slow and then I'm going to try and put purification on. Not on quite yet. Now it is, then back up. That is. I think ideally it's probably best to pop uh, purification on first. And then drop the feathers. Uh, for that uh, particular enemy. A couple of enemies are waiting for you up here, so just watch out. i got a guy that's waiting just there. I think there's a second one as well uh, that will drop from somewhere. There you go. So you can just pop those. Makes life a lot easier on this bit. Uh, purification is on. Once, that on. once that's on, you can just pop the feathers. This one's got quite a lot of HP, actually. It takes quite a it takes quite a few, but uh, there we go. That's the one that uh, clears the dark realm. So we'll pop that and then open these doors. It's kind of like a mini shortcut thing here. Back to the shrine. Then we'll just get all the bits and bobs in this area. We have a treasure chest. 
on my Omega's locks in there, very useful. And we'll just do the rest of the looting and shooting. Pop that enemy there. There's another range one, you can pop him as well once the thing goes red. There we go. I've got explosive bullets on still, I'm going to switch those back to normal. I forgot about that. I'm going to try and lure this enemy over. Ideally pop a slow talisman if we can. Okay, so we've got slow on, we've got purification on. I'm gonna back up and feathers should finish the job. There we go. Just grab the uh, loot there. Uh, we've got another lantern, so we'll just give this a one two. There we go. That's all that. Um, I think that's that area clear. a couple of uh, last things. We've got an item that's just tucked away over this way. We can grab that. Not sure if there's anything on top of here. Up the top. Uh, we've got a Sudama. Once again, we'll drop something. Uh, this time we'll try and drop... Uh, we've, we've tried soul cores. We've tried weapons. Let's try piece of armor perhaps uh, if we've got that'll do I think shinobi waste guard so the it was like a white rarity so it's most likely they'll probably give the white rarity in return yeah so it looks like it matches the um, the uh, rarity color there so that's that we'll just grab the bits and bobs in this tower I think there's a treasure chest up top not sure if there's any enemies. Looks like we're clear. Uh, so we'll grab the treasure chest. Items. Uh, that should do. Some items down here as well. We'll grab those. Grab the loot. Herbal Remedy, which is full uh, in full uh, heal. Drop on down. And then it is this way. We got the item there, didn't we? Just making sure. Yep. And then we have a Kadama that's tucked away in this corner here. So grab the Kadama. That's that. It's going to heal up. Got a well here. Well, well, well. Sacred Water. Smash on through these. A couple of bits and bobs popping off here. What I would suggest is trying to shoot that guy over there in the head ASAP. Uh, only because he summons these uh, red enemies like this. And they are quite spicy. They're quite spicy. I'm going to go for mid stance. Yeah, just watch out for those. They can uh, they can be spicy meatballs. Uh, so basically, as long as that guy over there is playing the the instrument, then those red things will just keep spawning. Uh, so ideally, you want to take him out. That did a lot of damage. Uh, so yeah, ideally, you want to take out the music guy uh, with your ranged headshots. The rifle might have one shot that guy, so probably could have gone for a rifle. These enemies do pack a punch around here, so just be careful. Switch to rifle, actually. Uh, ideally, take out the this one first. I'm going to lure this guy. We have one slow talisman left, so we'll pop that. got purification on so if we've got any feathers there we go that'll do and we've got a fake wall this i believe is a hot spring uh i wonder if there's any red graves there's not so i'm just gonna have to guess i also might die but here we go yep. 
Yeah. I've been lucky again. I've been quite lucky with these uh, fake walls. Anyway, so do the uh, gestures and push through. And then we can head on to the hot spring. Just over here, so we'll pop that. There we go, so make sure to get the hot spring, especially if you're going for the hot spring, uh, all hot spring achievement. Head back out. This area should be relatively clear at this point, so we'll just do loot and shoot in. Grab all the items. Uh, we have a Kadama that's quite close, just tucked away in this corner. Grab that Kadama. Uh, I think that is eight Kadama. Watch out for this cheeky bad boy in the corner. Here we go. Uh, so that is that. A couple more enemies in here. I think one's waiting for us. So if you can get a headshot, definitely go for it. Makes life easier. Got some treasure. That is all that. So pretty confident that's that area cleared out. And then we'll push on forward. I think there's one enemy waiting for us around here, so you can just pop him in the head. There we go. And then this is the first boss of the level. Uh, so boss one of two. Uh, what I would suggest is before going through the double doors is just heading back to the shrine. Um, because... We basically need to change our build to actually stand a chance against this boss. There's loads of different ways you can approach this boss. Um, we're going to be going for like one particular way uh, with our ninja build. So to be able to do that, we're going to head back through this shortcut, rest at the shrine. There's quite a hefty amount of preparation work here, so here goes. Uh, first of all, we'll level up. Level up some magic, so that's 29. Uh, then we've got to spend some points. So, ninja stuff. Uh, so basically, the things that we're going to be using for this particular fight... Uh, in fact, I'll ready the stuff first, and then we'll look at skills. So, what we'll be doing with this is taking off certain things and putting on other things. So, I don't think the lightning feathers... Um, do anything at all for this boss. So we'll swap out the lightning feathers. Well, feathers in general don't really work on this boss at all. Um, so we won't really be using too many feathers. Um, so we'll switch out the lightning with poison. So we'll put on a, a bunch of poison uh, like, like that. And then we'll switch out the shuriken with poison shuriken. Uh, what we'll do is take away a couple of feathers, bring that down a little bit, put on some more poison, take away a few kunai, take away a few more kunai. Uh, so six kunai, six poison shuriken, uh, six of the uh, poison broth for your weapon. That should do for that. And then hop over to magic. We're not going to be using purification talismans. Um, we're going to be using poison instead. So what we're going to do is take away the purification talismans. We don't need to have any of those readied up at all. Uh, what we'll do instead is put those points into these. So Rejuvenation and uh, Barrier as well. Uh, we'll probably take a couple away from Arch Yokai and swap those out for other things like Barrier or Rejuvenation. Um, that should do. So we're looking like this. Uh, five of the sloth, four rejuvenation, three of the barrier, uh, three of the arch yokai, that's for the magics. And then on the ninjutsu, we've got six of the kunai, uh, six of the poison shuriken, and six of the uh, poison broth. 
and a couple of feathers as well. And you could probably switch a few of those around, um, a few more or a few less, like depending on what you know works best for you. But basically, the main idea that we're going to be doing with this is we're going to be applying things to our character, which regenerates our HP, and we're going to be apply applying poison to the boss, uh, which will take his HP down. Uh, so the idea is our HP is is always ticking upwards, and his HP is always ticking downwards. Um, like I said, there's a couple of different ways you can approach this. You could also use a bunch of Inspiriting Gems, which replenish your Yokai Gauge, and you could just spam your Yokai form over and over again by using the Inspiriting Gems uh, to re replenish that. So let's just check our shortcuts. Uh, what we're doing, we don't, also don't need salt as well, so we can switch out the salt uh, for something different. So let's just have a look what we can switch that out for. Uh, it's going to check our items real quick and see if we've got everything applied. So we've got that set, that's all set, that's all set. Uh, what we'll do actually is switch the salt for Inspiriting Gems so I can show you a little bit of the Yokai stuff. You could also pop on Herbal Remedy here. Uh, so with this particular boss, it can be pretty spicy so don't feel bad about using all your Inspiriting Gems. You know, use all your Herbal Remedies, just pop through them all and stuff. It's it's uh, it's all good to pop through those for this particular boss. Uh, we've also got some Spirit Stones we probably should use, so we'll use those. Uh, what we'll do is find an Inspiriting Gem and we'll pop that on. I think we've missed it, but let's just take a quick look. On here somewhere. Here we go. Uh, so we've got nine of those. It says temporarily restores your Amrita Gauge. So we'll set shortcut and we're going to replace the uh, salt because salt won't do anything against this boss whatsoever. We'll pop those on. Uh, you could also replace the fruit, but we'll keep it on for now. Uh, that should do. So this is how we're looking. We've got the elixir and then we've got the water feathers, the fire feathers, the poison broth. Uh, we've got the kunai, the poison shuriken. We've got the uh, rejuvenation, which is our HP regen. We've got arch yokai, which is magic regen. Uh, we've got sloth talismans. And we have uh, barrier talismans, which is key regeneration. And the inspiriting gems, we wouldn't use the inspiriting gems right now because we've already got 100 on the yokai gauge. Uh, but if you do use your yokai form, and then you want to get it back, just pop an Inspiriting Gem to replenish it. Um, and then use it again. Let's just check those Spirit Stones because we've got quite a bunch of those. So let's pop those real quick. Um, but yeah, this boss fight, there's a couple of different ways you can really approach this. I probably could make a separate video uh, covering this boss in great detail. Yeah, it's going to pop through all those. See if we can get a level up. There we go. Uh, no level up just yet. That's fair enough. And then with the skills, I'm going to pop a couple of those onto the Shifling skill tree. Uh, Yokai ability while in the Yokai realm to purify it. Reduces the penalty of your key recovery speed while in Yokai realm. Extends the duration of Yokai Shift. Yeah, we'll take that. That's that one. Uh, ninjutsu. Like I said, I'm not really too fussed about the rest of these. Uh, I've already got the stuff that I really want for this fight. Uh, but if you wanted to, you could also pop these on. These um, sort of like uh, poison, uh, poison uh, bombs kind of thing here uh, for this fight. So we can poison this this enemy, which works really, really, uh, really, really well. On my own magic, we've got rejuvenation. Uh, we should be good at that, I think. Nothing else on there that I really want to grab for now. We'll grab that one, increases health gain from elixirs. A couple of points on there to increase uh, elixir healing. 
Uh, yeah, so other than that, let's uh, let's jump into it. I know that's quite a lot of preparation work uh, for this boss. And enemy will always respawn when you when you uh, rest at that shrine there. So just pop this guy. Uh, so yeah, just um, it'll probably happen quite quick. So just to go over what I'm going to be doing here. Basically, the idea is is to put poison on the boss. So we're going to be putting poison on our weapon. We've also got poison shurikens. And then we're also going to be using other items that replenish our HP. So our HP will be ticking upwards and his HP will be ticking downwards. Uh, we'll also be applying the sloth, uh, the sloth talismans to help us out. Uh, so other than that, yeah, let's... Uh, in fact, I've just remembered about the scampus. Don't forget the scampus. That could also help as well. Uh, so the feathers are kind of useful. But they're just not as useful in comparison to fighting a yokai boss. Uh, so grab the scampus. This enemy will respawn once again. You can pop him in the head. A lot, a lot of the time you can just run past him, I think. So uh, don't worry too much about shooting him uh, every time. So yeah, we've got scampus. We'll pop on all the stuff. Talismans. Poison. Uh, barrier. I'm going to get Sloth Talisman ready and we'll start with the Sloth. Okay, so we'll try and open up with a Sloth Talisman. We managed to get it on. Um, mid stance works really well on this fight. So, if you just three shots like that, you can dodge forward through the third one. That's one. I just have one that time. Uh, if he's got Sloth Talisman on, you can get up quite close and personal and do some high stance wombo combos. Uh, ideally, you want to try and apply uh, poison to him if you can do. You can get a critical strike like so. If he's out of key, watch out for his grabs because they kick But uh, If he's up in the air flying, he usually does two shots before he drops down. You can then get ready for that. Try and apply some poison to him. Uh, I think he's, yeah, poison is applied, so you can see that his, his health is ticking down. Uh, if the fire is coming at you like that, you just run around the room. Uh, we can also apply our rejuvenation talisman like that, so our health is always ticking upwards. You can use these columns as protection. So if you need a little bit of protection, you can use those columns. Uh, once again, the fire is back. I'm just going to try and show you as much as I can really with this fight, so... I'll play, I'll play um, quite defensively at, at first. So mid stance works like this. You kind of dodge forward, do a combo. Usually do not the full combo, but maybe like two or three strikes in the combo and then dodge backwards. Uh, once again, if the fire is there, you just kind of kite it around the room, just run around. If you do just three shots, you can dodge forward on the third and dodge back. Once again, if he's in the air, he usually does two shots. You can then follow that, follow that up with a high stance combo. Like that. That's a mid stance. Dodge through that one. Watch out for the grab. One shot. Two shot. And then high stance combo. That's that. Watch out for the grab once again. Uh, you can pop some shurikens to apply poison to him as well, like that. So just two shurikens, he's now got poisoned uh, with the poison shuriken. You've also got your kunai as well, of course. Uh, here comes the fire. Uh, so I'm just trying to show you like all the sort of bits and bobs before we go on the offensive. Heal up. Uh, so the fire, once again, just sort of like pull it around the room. Do two shots, just get up close to him, get ready for the high stance combo. I want to show you a bit more of the mid stance thing, so if he's coming towards you, you can sort of like mid stance over to him, do a few attacks and then dodge back a couple of times. Dodge forward, a little bit of mid stance combo, dodge back. So doing that is quite safe to do. Fire once again, just dodge round, dodge forward, mid stance and then back. Mid stance and then back. 
Uh, so that's probably like the safest kind of strat is to just hit yourself in mid stance. Uh, dodge forward, a little bit of a combo, dodge backwards. Uh, obviously just try and make sure that the distance between you and him is, is closed. It closes the gap, if you know what I mean, when you do your dodge forward. Uh, that one was a little bit short, it should have been a little bit closer to him. Uh, yes, yeah, so there's all sorts of stuff popping off with this. Um, you can also technically headshot him as well. I think if you headshot him, he falls to the floor. Um, which might be an option if you can manage to pull off a, a good headshot there. But I'm going to try and get a sloth passman on him. Uh, so next I'll try and show the feathers. We're going to pop a couple of those. We're going to try and apply confusion status to him. I think it might actually kill him, which is not really what I wanted to do, but... Uh, you could also yokai shift as well, like so. There's quite a lot of bits and bobs that you can do. Don't forget you can hold up, you know, hold your heavy attack to power up your weapons for a little bit. If you do use your yokai shift, uh, technically that's an option to get through this boss. What you can do is use your inspiriting gems, which is this top gem there. You can pop that. Um, if you use your Inspiriting Gem, if you look up in the top left corner of the screen, you'll see that uh, the number on the gauge kind of like ticks up. So that like replenishes your uh, Yokai Shift. Uh, so you can use that if you want to keep spamming your Yokai Shift. Uh, once again, Poison is useful if you want to pop Poison on. What is a quite good thing to do is if you do want to reapply some stuff, if you want to reapply some Talismans and some Poison and stuff like that, it's probably best to hit him with a slow, like that, and then pull back a little bit, use a column, and then reapply your uh, buffs, your talismans and stuff like from behind a column, uh, whilst he's slow on the other side of the room. Uh, so that's a tactic you can use. You've also got your poison shurikens, so if you a couple of those will cast poison on him, keep his health ticking down. Uh, whilst he's up in the air, uh, flying, you can also throw kunai at him and stuff, it knocks him out of the air. So you've got a couple of different um, options of things that you can use there really for that guy. And that's the uh, key item that we need. Uh, with this guy I could probably make a separate video just on the boss himself to be fair, because there's quite a lot of information really to talk about there. Uh, and multiple different ways you can approach the fight. But yeah, other than that, that's that's that. Let me know if you've got any questions or anything about that. I'll I'll uh, answer the best that I can do. Uh, we can level up, so we're going to pop some points once again into magic. And what we can do with our stuff now is just kind of like flip it back to what it was before. Uh, so once again, we don't really need poison shuriken at this point. Uh, we don't need the poison broth. Flip that back over to the standard feathers, the 666 on the feathers. And then we had the shuriken and the kunai so 10 and 10 and then with the magics we want the purification back so you can just take off uh, whatever you want to take off i'm going to take off rejuvenation and pop on purification uh, we'll go for five uh, five barrier five uh, sloth and five purification that should do you could uh, put some rejuvenation on if you wanted to sort of like mess around with the numbers a little bit and just you know equip whatever works best for you uh, but other than that that is that's that boss uh, like i say with that one don't be afraid to, to pop through your inspiriting gems and stuff it's all good uh, use your scampus items and stuff and uh, anything really to make that fight uh, a bit smoother so it can be a spicy meatball uh, could talk to him or an item uh, talk to this NPC I'm not sure if he gives us anything no uh, so we can open these doors now and this is where the mission based achievement is we also have one more uh, Kadama to grab also we can switch the inspiration gems off put it back to salt at this point so we've got a yokai boss coming up uh, barrier talisman is fine. Uh, the fruit is fine. That should all be fine for this uh, 
upcoming boss. Uh, so... In fact, we've got less arch yokai equipped than we had before, but that should be fine as it is. I think what I'll do on this bit is just take out his enemies first of all. Watch out for that attack because it's got insane uh, accuracy on its traction. Take out his enemy here. Uh, what we'll do is just grab the last Kadama, which I think is quite close. Um, I think it's just... Now, this should be the last one. Yeah, all of the missions Kadama. Uh, that's that one. A couple more items that we can get. I think we can drop down here for some random item. Take out that elemental. Uh, grab the item. Antidote and dung ball. So once again, going for that dung ball achievement. Definitely worth grabbing that. So the boss is down here. What I'm actually going to do is just use a travel amulet first of all and replenish our stuff. Okay, so we're back at the shrine. We've got all the Kadamas. We've got the hot spring location. Uh, we've taken out the human boss. We just need to get the last boss of this stage and the mission-based achievement. So basically how we get the mission-based achievement for this boss is you have to force him to kind of like headbutt a wall. Um, headbutt this kind of like dam thing here. Uh, I've already got the achievement myself, so I don't think it's going to pop up for me. Um, and this boss, once again, is Yokai, so it's going to be able to use the same kind of strats that we use with the uh, purification and the uh, salt and stuff like that and the feathers. So what we'll do is drop down, trigger the boss fight, and then it's usually best to try and get the, the achievement first of all, so you just run straight back to the dam. Uh, you could even make life easy by popping Sloth Talisman on. Watch out for that. That's what you want to do. Basically, get him to do that. Charge into the actual dam itself. Um, that's pretty much it. That's the achievement, so... I'm going to try and pop an antidote real quick. Uh, yeah, so let's get into the fight yourself. I'm going to pop on Purification. Pop on some of the talisman buffs. Get into it. I'm going to try and apply purification to the boss, which I think we have got. Just pop through the feathers at this point. Lightning feathers like so. Or fire feathers, whatever works best for you. And then you can just grab a heavy attack on his head. And uh, job done. That's the fight. This is quite a, a bit of a lengthy stage. There's a lot of stuff going off there. You've got your nine Kadama, you've got your achievements, you've got uh, two difficult bosses. Uh, but other than that, that is the end of the stage. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.